Two Frogs in a Milk Pail by Basab Ghosh. Today we have a book named Two Frogs in a Milk Pail by Basab Ghosh. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. This is one of the amazing children's animal stories. Once upon a time, in a pond nearby a village, lived two frogs. One fine day, when it started raining all of a sudden, the frogs hopped into a nearby house in order to find shelter and some food. Once inside the house, they hopped around looking for food. Just then, accidentally the two of them fell in a pail of milk. Both of the frogs were drowning in the pail of milk. And the poor frogs could not seem to get out of the pail. You see, the sides of the pail were way too slippery. Regardless, the frogs still tried, but all in vain. They swam and swam, but nothing good came of it. In the end, one of the two frogs said, Brother, we've been swimming for quite some time, and it is not giving any result. There is no point in swimming anymore. We are going to drown anyway. We should give up now. The other frog was not willing to stop swimming. He says to the other one, someone will surely come find us. Let's swim for some more time. So, the two frogs paddled in the milk for some more time. After a while, the first frog began protesting again. I am totally exhausted. I can't swim anymore. The second frog somehow again convinced him to continue swimming and paddling in the milk. A couple of hours passed before the first frog again began complaining. This time the frog said, no more. We are doomed. No one is going to come to help us. We are going to die. I can't do this anymore. After saying that the first frog finally gave up and drowned in the milk, the first frog continued on without stopping for even a minute. About ten minutes after the first frog gave up, the second frog felt something solid under his feet. The frog then realized that due paddling around in the milk, the milk was turning into butter. He had churned the milk into butter. Oh, how happy he was. The frog continued with even more enthusiasm than before. And soon enough, the butter started accumulating, and the frog was finally able to escape. Morale of the story Never lose hope. The end Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.